Hello friends, in this lesson I will explain you the structure and working principle of the coils which is one of the basic circuit devices of electricity and electronics. Coil is also called as inductor. A unit of the coil is Henry and is denoted by the letter L. In daily life they are used as toroid, resistance and surface mounting types. Coil is the circuit device that is formed by winding a conductive wire over and over. Coils are composed of winding and core. In coil windings, varnished insulated copper wire is used. This feature allows the coil to store electrical energy as a magnetic field. It is mostly made of a ferromagnetic core such as iron which has very good magnetic permeability to increase the strength of the magnetic field in inductors. So let's see how the coil works now. To understand the working principle of the coil better, first of all we need to have a look at the Ampere's law. According to this law, a magnetic field is formed around the conductor that flows a certain current. The intensity of this magnetic field is directly proportional to the intensity of the current. If the current flowing through the conductor is DC, the magnetic field is constant and if the flowing current is AC, the direction of the magnetic field constantly changes. In daily life, many permanent magnets are produced and used that attracts materials made of elements such as iron, nickel and cobalt. Permanent magnets are produced in stick, U, ring, round and etc. shapes. By taking the advantage of magnetic field created by these magnets, a wide variety of devices are produced. But sometimes it is needed to create very strong magnetic fields. Therefore, Producing a very strong magnet creates devices that are both costly and large in size. Instead, we produce electromagnets having magnet properties by using coils. So, how do electromagnets work? Let's have a look at together. As you can see in the figure, when voltage is applied to a coil, a magnetic field is formed around the coil. Now, this coil acts like a permanent magnet with an N and S pole. If the voltage value is increased, the magnitude of the magnetic field also increases. The magnet that consists of this coil is called electromagnet. Although we cannot see the magnetic field lines around the magnet, we can see them by experimenting with iron powder. If iron powder is scattered around the magnet, this powder is collected on magnetic field lines that move from the N pole of the magnet to the S pole. As seen here, just as a magnet with a fixed magnetic field attracts the paper clips, it attracts the paper clips around it when voltage is applied to the coil structure that we have created with copper windings around a nail. In general, the symbol of the coils in circuit is shown as follows. But according to the type of core used in the coils, their symbols differ slightly as seen on the right. Well, how to create a coil? Now let's have a look. There is a core inside the coil. This core is made of a ferromagnetic material with very good magnetic permeability such as iron and steel. An insulated copper wire is wrapped around this core which passes the current very well. The coil is basically formed in this way. The inductance value of the coil is found with this formula. Here N is the winding number, A cross sectional area, L coil length is magnetic permeability. The unit of the coil is also Henry. Now let's have a look how the inductance value of a coil with a core length, core cross-sectional area and number of turns is calculated. We can draw the following conclusions from this formula. First of all, let's look at 
how the inductance value changes by means of magnetic permeability. As the coil on the left, the inductance value decreases when using air with low magnetic permeability as a core, while the inductance value increases when using the iron which has high magnetic permeability as the core on the right coil. Let's have a look at the change in the inductance value of the coil with the number of turns. Inductance value decreases when the number of turns decreases like the coil on the left, while the inductance value increases when the number of turns increases like the coil on the right. Well, what is the relationship between the cross-sectional area and the inductance value? As the cross-sectional area decreases, the inductance value decreases, and when the cross-sectional area increases, the inductance value increases. Finally, let's have a look at how the inductance value with the length of the coil changes. When the length increases, the inductance value decreases, and when the length decreases, the inductance value increases. There are large and small electronic motors in many devices we use in daily life. When we analyze the parts of these motors, we can see that permanent magnets provide the magnetic field that is necessary to provide motion. However, when the size of these motors becomes larger, the use of permanent magnets does not provide the necessary power and instead an electromagnet consisting of coil structure is used. In motors operating with different sizes of direct current and alternating current, magnetic field is provided in this way in terms of efficiency. Their stator windings and their rotor windings consist of the coil. They work like an electromagnet to create a magnetic field and generate voltage. There is also a coil inside the transformers that we use to increase and decrease the voltage value of alternating current. The voltage value is increased and decreased according to the ratio of the windings at the input and the output. When we look at the internal structure of the transformer we see here, the voltage value of the sinusoidal wave at the input is decreased at the output since the winding number at the input is higher than output. The cylindrical part on the laptop charger cable can be suggested as an example to coil use devices. It is even possible to find coils in many devices such as keyboard, monitor and printer cables. The cylinders on these devices called ferrite beads are basically a coil and serve to reduce high frequency noise. During electricity transmission, the transmission is exposed to external noise. Ferrite beads ensures the proper charging and operation of electronic devices by preventing the noisy frequency values coming from outside. Speakers are also one of the coil used devices. Thanks to the magnet and the coil structure inside, the sound waves are amplified and become audible. In Tesla coil, a magnetic field is formed around the coil connected to the power source and thanks to this magnetic field, the lamp brought close to the coil is illuminated wirelessly. In addition, the coils have a wide range of applications in signal processing and filters in analog circuits. In a resistor coil circuit, it acts as a low pass filter as the impedance of the coil increases with frequency. The coil capacitor circuit coil is used as a band pass filter with capacitor. Thanks to the filter circuits, it is ensured that the desired frequency value is used or not. Many advanced filters are devised by combining coil, capacitor and resistor differently. In this lesson, we have studied the working principle, structure and usage areas of the coil. I hope it was useful for you and you enjoyed it. Hope to see you in our next lesson. Goodbye.